You told me to blow things up. <laughs> Okay, hello everyone. As you can see, this isn't Helen. This is my mother. <laughs> Helen, basically, it snowed a lot last night. So all day, me and Helen have been texting each other. But then it started raining ice earlier. So we were like, Mum's going to tag in and do toasties this week. So this is my mum. <laughs> hello. Um, which is going to be fun. Um, there's going to be a shitload of outtakes from this because she's already just sat making me burst out laughing every three minutes. And then I was just trying to start the episode. So... <sighs> I just gave her the option of what would she rather me teach her other than blow things up? There you go. This, this should say a lot about, you know, my family life. So, anyway. Is he wrong with your family life? Right, not be everybody else's ideal. I don't think it's anybody else's. Open your butty. <laughs> I'm being bossed around on my own show, have you noticed? Right, okay. So, ooh. Ooh. I have Italian ravioli this week. <laughs> I give up. I can't show it you anymore. It doesn't work. There you go. I will put a picture on uh, Instagram anyway so Italian ravioli which is goat's cheese and basil pesto can you have pesto that isn't basil yeah I guess yeah you could do a parsley pesto it was yeah you could I'm not sure what it tastes of but yeah, yeah you could and then it tastes like the invigorating aroma of a freshly mown lawn Ooh. okay then that doesn't quite appeal. Okay. Let's see if you've got I'll the same. Open the box. Now, we just have to hope that this doesn't have meat in it because obviously Helen eats meat and me and Mum don't. So. <laughs> no, I've got sh strawberry shortcake. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> Helen, you're missing another dip. Why is he not doing it for you? Look, strawberry shortcake. Which, let me see what little cat said. It involves strawberry, biscuit, butter, and mascarpone. We've got a load. We've got better mascarpone than what we've got. Better so mascarpone in the fridge. Yeah. From last week. Tastes like steamrolling a mile of bubble wrap. Oh, that sounds really, really satisfying. Does this mean I have to have dessert before savoury then? No, you can make yourself something savoury. Oh, okay. We'll figure it out. Apparently we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We always do. It says number six. What number's yours? Four. Okay. So, there we go. So, we've so got different... other than the fact, she doesn't like the bread, so we'll use our multigrain bread. The cheese is a poorer quality cheese than the one I'll have at her in here. I could probably make better biscuit. And I've probably got nicer strawberry jam. But hey! She's not picky or anything. I'm not foresee. You do realise that she's not going to use a single ingredient out of this. We might as well put the ingredients in the fridge so Helen can have them last week and she'll use... She'll make her own biscuit and the rest we will use... She will use what we have at home for because she's picky. Um, and then Helen can try it next week as well. Yeah. So Helen could have to... What have you got? What? I was wondering if we would do bags again this week, but apparently not. We don't use their bags, we use our own bags as well. They know that. Me and Helen did do a practical demonstration of the bag difference. So, yeah, um, that's this week so far. It's probably going to be like a very, very long break before we actually make the toasties because it's earlier than we normally film. Because we're not waiting for Helen to get back from where she works, which is over an hour and a half away. And it's also only like six o'clock, so it's too early for us to eat. And then I just have to keep her awake to film the second half, which is going to be nearly impossible because she doesn't stay awake. I do. In various amounts. I, I'm awake in the morning. You're normally waking up as I go to bed. It's different. I work nights. 
and <laughs> yeah so you so you missed a lot of bomb making discussion in the sense that I was telling her off from teaching me to make bombs when I was a kid I just said it shows I'm a good teacher yeah what else would she rather have had once again more fun more fun Blowing shit off. It's always more fun. Almost it suspended. Like to blow things up. Yeah, but the almost suspended from school thing wasn't so much. She should have known what you were doing, or at least noticed. This is this is bad teacher. She didn't know what her students were doing. I was eleven. So she should have been keeping a closer eye on you. I should point out that this was not chemistry or anything where you would expect me to blow something up. This was food technology. Custard. That's all I'm saying. Google it. <laughs> if you're now responsible for like loads of people blowing up the cookers. No, 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 no. I merely made a suggestion. Their own experiments are their own responsibilities. With every right comes a responsibility. You have a right to learn how you use that knowledge. Is your choice, is not mine. She's nuts. You blow things up, that's your problem. I have no idea why you're so out of focus on this. I know, it's really good. I actually quite like being so fuzzy. <laughs> Looks like, yeah, the camera's drunk. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go make these toasties. No, we're not. I'm going to have a drink, a cup of coffee. But, eh, really. Oh, God. Do you just like it looking drunk at you? Yeah. Helpful. So, we actually made them straight away because I was hungry. Mm hmm. She certainly was. No, sorry. Um, so, basically, we're both going to try half of each. Though I cut them, and while well, this one's not bad, the other one, like, one's like tiny and one's like huge. <laughs> Disproportionate. Extremely. Sorry, I've got a scratch. I mean, an itch. So I scratched it. I'm entitled. That was, that was a weird moment. Yeah. That was an ordinary moment. Go on then. Let's have a try. So this is the one that's supposed to... This is the Italian ravioli. Ravioli. Hmm. Hmm. The bit of better quality goat's cheese and homemade pesto. It's not about wouldn't be a bad combination. Needs more garlic. Mm, this needs a stronger quality goat's cheese with that saltiness to it. Mm. Yeah, the pesto kind of overpowers it. So if you make this at home, get the goat's cheese that I linked you to last time I had a goat's cheese mm. recipe. Because that's our favourite. Yeah, you need a... Well, it's not our favourite. Because our favourite we got in the Christmas market. I should mm. say my favourite. Mum didn't get to eat any of it. She ate it all. Greedy pig. The what? Helen oh, had them. some, though. Helen had some, though. And she, she agrees it's really good. So... Oh, yeah, not bad. Mm. Good idea. I'm glad we got a decent quality bread. Yeah. Don't do this with the white bread. Mum needs something a bit more. Mum mm. doesn't like white bread in general. So I take her opinions on white bread with a pinch of salt. Don't mm. give me that look. It's true. I do make some white bread myself. You don't make white bread. You make white seeded, which is not white bread. I make brioche as well. So. Yeah, but then you're the only one that eats it. Mm. Now, anyway. Mm. But yeah, it, need, it, it needs a good quality bread. And better quality bread. Well, then I like cheese. making bread, so I'm going to say that anyway. Yeah. This is actually the first week where we bought a loaf for a very long time. Mm. That was mostly because mum was too lazy to make some. 
But I've got to make scones on Sunday for Mother's Day. Ha <laughs> ha, grannied. I thought we collectively decided to pretend that Mother's Day didn't exist this year. Yeah, apparently that's just me and you. Oh. So she's got to get grannied. If the weather's not totally crepe tomorrow morning. Please snow some more, please snow some more, please snow some more. We can go and get a birthday card and a Mother's Day granny card for granny. Does this mean you expect a birthday card this year? Well, a birthday card perhaps. I ain't bothered about Mother's Day. You've never really been bothered about Mother's Day. Here's a bit of your coffee. Clean the palette. Now, this is the sweet For dessert. One. It's going to be really sweet. Oh, yeah. But a good quality jam. Like I expected, she did not use at all the ingredients. She used the biscuit because we didn't have time to make one because I was hungry. Um, which had the consistency of peanut butter and looked kind of gross. But otherwise, we used our own ingredients for this one. We followed their ingredient list, but it was their ingredients. It was their ingredients. Probably way more cheese than they put on. Cause, oh, yeah, because it's me. Because look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's her? Mine. I was going to say, it's blonde, so therefore not mine. <laughs> so, yeah, a little bit more cheese, perhaps. A lot more cheese. A little bit more burn cheese. as well. Hmm? A little bit more burn, too. I didn't burn this week! Probably a bit more jam, actually, as well. Mmm. Mmm. If I may say so, it is sweet. Very sweet. But, I don't think the biscuit's actually adding anything, do you? Mmm. It's kind of the base. You can taste it, but... Mmm. It would be alright without. Mmm. Just the mascarpone and the jam. Hmm. Yeah, but that'd be a bit basic bitch for this, so. Mmm. It would cut nicer with a ginger biscuit. Mmm. Mmm? Yeah. A I ginger biscuit say... would just give it that bit more oomph. This is why you don't eat things with a baker because they will immediately try and think of exactly how they can improve everything. Mm. Now, to be fair, I mean, think this is sweet because you didn't have the one we had last week. Mm. It was white chocolate and raspberry jam. Oh no. It was brilliant. It was beautiful for me and Helen, but you don't mm. like sweet things. Mm -mm. But I think this I... is a good level of sweet. Like last week, me and Helen were basically in diabetes heaven. I'm really glad that I didn't have to have my blood taken last Monday. Mm. Um, but yeah, <laughs> mm. moved furniture around last week after they eaten. Mm. Yeah, we mentioned that in the episode. <laughs> But yeah, would be improved using a ginger biscuit mm. butter. Definitely. So it would just add a little bit of spiciness to complement the sweet. And mm. that would be nice. Here's a bit more of that coffee, will you? I left my cup on the other side of the room, so I'm nicking a coffee because it's over here. No, there were, there, there were two nice solid toasties there. The fact that we've each done... <laughs> Blue ball. You can't see it because uh, she's leaning off screen while she eats, but yeah. <laughs> she's just dribbled. Chunk of mascarpone cheese down the chin, you know. Why not? 
Oh, that's so good. That's mm. That's nothing. Given that you're wearing a black t-shirt, you should be glad it's only a crumb. It'd look really incriminating otherwise. Mm. <laughs> but yeah. No, it's two solid sandwiches there. Um, I definitely think that... And a better quality goat cheese... Cheese plus cheese, dudes, I've said this like three times now. Please, please up your supplier if you got cheese, because it's awful. It's actually awful. Like, maybe people who don't... It's way bland, and it doesn't have enough of the proper saltiness that a goat's cheese should have. Yeah, like, maybe it's, <coughs> like, for people that don't eat goat's cheese very often, it's probably fine. But for... If, if someone orders something like this, they're going to have some knowledge of cheese, dudes. And therefore, you know, up your, up your goat's cheese game. Everything else is really quite nice. Even if, even if it's a bit low quality, it's really quite nice. But your goat's cheese needs to be... You, you need to up your goat's cheese game, dudes. And hint, put a little bit of ginger in that biscuit and it will be really there you good. Go. Also, I'll just go and wash the plates. I'll finish doing the, the upgrade updates then, um, which is mostly that Helen has not yet quit her job. Not yet, no. She's still not quit. Hang her. on, she gave me permission to embarrass her. She did? Honest? I hope she'd forget. Do you know something? Bringing her home on the bus from nursery. Lovely. The rabbit had just had some little bunnies. Oh, sweet. So she had to ask the pregnant lady on the bus, was she having a rabbit too? <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Little gem, just, just when you need it. This reminds me of the fact that I was absolutely adamant that Rihanna was going to be a puppy. That's right, yeah. Rihanna was going to be a puppy. <laughs> and, you know, I was really disappointed that she wasn't a puppy. I was two, so... Well, technically you were 18 months. I was no, two! 20 months. 20 months. I was two! I got two. I went two at the end of December. She was born in the middle of November, so I was like, "That's it, yeah." Sorry, Rihanna was a little bit lazy. She stayed in there for a couple of weeks longer than she should. I would have been twenty months if she'd have come on time, but mm -hmm. because she didn't, because she was a lazy. So yeah, she was comfy. Rihanna always loved to sleep in. Yeah. So yeah, I uh, yeah. So you know, when I was two, humans had animals. You know, it makes total sense. Lexi does it now. But her other one was at playgroup when everybody else's baby cried. She stuffed a dolly up a jumper to feed it. Isn't that nice? Brought yes, her I well. did. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Look, I was the person whose blouse and shirts he used to undo wherever. That was your own fault. <laughs> that was definitely you. Yeah, definitely you. <laughs> but yeah, she walked around with a dolly stuffed up a jumper. Why not? I didn't mind. There were some very funny people in that playgroup. They got quite upset. But why? You'd never seen a baby fed by a bottle, so why would you? So, yeah, there you go. Anyway, yeah, Helen hasn't quit a job yet. Um, it's Helen's birthday next week. So, um, I might have to find some way to embarrass her on the video for the cheese posties next Friday. Um hit us up with suggestions as to how to do that um if you want my mother to be in more videos comment send me a message you know all my social medias uh send helen a message you know her social medias she doesn't have very many of them because she sucks um she's gonna watch this and she's going to murder me next week it's gonna be great i'll make sure we video it it'll be fab um so there we go that's this week's done um my mother <laughs> Special guest. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Thank the Lord it's nearly spring. So, oh yeah, and just so you can all see, I have actually, like you keep all requesting in messages and things, I have finally clean, cleaned my necklace. So, there we go. Um, so, we'll be back next Friday. We'll do something for Helen's birthday. We'll figure something out. Uh, it'll be grand. So, have fun. Bye.
We're back because she demanded to tell another embarrassing story and I'm going to regret this. Oh, she is. I bet you she edits it out straight away. Because she had holes in her sheets. She kicked holes in her sheets. And she I'm said, Mum, change your bed. Oh, my oh, God. Why are you telling this one? <laughs> you can't uh, wait to wait till you already <laughs> told everyone on Twitter. <laughs> you make her bed. She doesn't warn me. I pull the sheets <laughs> and... Vibrator hits me in the head. I want it. I'm going to leave right it in. there. I'm going to leave it in. I'll leave oh, it in. Bright pink. Vibrator. It's not that big. Thank the Lord. Wasn't switched on. But, but, and it was clean. That's a really good thank the Lord for. But, I would have appreciated some morning. You don't expect when changing your daughter's bed to be hit in the head. <laughs> vibrator. I already told you I thought I'd lost it. She hadn't lost it. Hit me in the head. Right there. I live with this.